Earl Mental's got the containers down in alpha release now, and I'm using them quite a lot. But what if you've got a website where it's fully fleshed out with sections and columns, and you want to start using Flexbox containers, especially for the loop grid, are you a little bit worried about, can you do that? And does that now mean you've got to convert all of the section and columns on your website into containers? Actually, no. You can use sections and containers on the same website. So here's a test website, and I've got two sections on here. Both of the sections are three columns each. Okay, these are sections. Look, it says the word section. We click over here, and it says column. I'm going to hit update for a moment. And I'm now going to go over to my elemental settings, go down to features, and I'm going to activate the Flexbox container, scroll down and hit save changes. And after refreshing, you can still see that here we still have the section and we still have the column. However, if I was to now go down here and click, I will now have the containers. So I click over here, I have the Flexbox container. I can pick this up and I can move it in between. But every time I hit the plus sign now, I am going to have a container. So what if I now decide, OK, I'm still getting used to it. I'm still not sure. I want to have the container, but I also want to build further bits of my page with section. Well, if you've already got a section on a page like this, I could just copy this and paste over here. And look at this. It is still a section and a column. I can go and add columns. I can delete columns. Now, what you can't do is if I just clear out this text editor here, what you can't do is click over here and go, well, I want to use now in you know, a section because you've now got the Flexbox container activated. But if I was to pick up the container and drop it in, I now have a container inside a column. There's the container that is now sat within a column. If, however, before I had activated the container, the Flexbox container over here, I had actually dropped an inner section into a section and then activated my Flexbox container, I could reuse the inner section. My big tip is stop using inner section. That's far too much DOM that's being rendered if you care about your page speed performance. But if you're one of those people where you've been like, well, my website's 30 pages, it's full of section and columns and blah -de blah and I want to use the container. You can do. You can mix it up on the same website. A lot of people would not advise this. They would say, look, you know, transfer everything over for page speed performance, which is why we've been looking forward to the containers for quite a while. But if you want to mix it up, you can do. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, with the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring.